Oh, hello, and welcome back to the channel. Here we go, something different. Uh, Hill Brim Bleep has been doing this recently, so I thought I'd come down to my uh, local four show, which is like five minutes walk from the house. There's a uh, new second seven bridge, it's now called the Prince of Wales Bridge. So the English side is over there. Yeah, I'm in a place called Sudbrook. Uh, just above me here uh, was an old Roman camp. They used it in World War One, and World War Two. There's a base. There's a gunnery point up there. They fire at their uh, aircraft coming over, which will bomb in uh, even and what we'll have you. But yeah, it's have a wander around here now, and uh, see what these storms have brought up in the last couple of weeks. So here we go. Oh yeah. There's an old church up here as well, it's a Trinity Church. There used to be a big old uh, medieval manor as well up there. The bank has fallen away, yeah. part of the churchyard has actually gone into, into the sea. Alright, let's go have a little look, you never know. You always find something cool down the beach, don't you? And as you can see, it's like a limestone rock, sandstone-y sort of stuff here. I guess I rode it rather sharpish. What's that red thing? Uh, modern junk. No, oh, oh, yeah, golf ball. Golf ball. And that's the boat. Yeah, this, this, uh, well, this, this water, the tidal water here, it's, it's the second fastest tide in the world. Uh, you fall in there and uh, well, you're a goner, simple as that. It's, you've got rip tides, you've got cross tides with there. Look. I think that tide runs about six knots, so you couldn't even swim it. Couldn't swim against the current. It's very dangerous, very dangerous. Uh, it, it can rise up to 15 metres, this. It can come over the top of this. I've seen the water on top of that football field up there. Anyway. A little here. Oh, another ball there. Eh? A ball day. A little packy ball. Like oh, a Roman pot. It's plastic. Look at that, look at that. A Roman terracotta pot found on the beach. Oh, I take that out. Yeah, as you can see over there, that's just mud. And that'll be over the top of me where he's on mud. It's real thick, sticky stuff. There's a little spot here. It's called Diver's Rock. Anyway. Yeah, this one. Yeah, you go. There you go, there's another ball there. Eh? See the brambles on like that. See all this is all coming down this. Oh, it's a little pig, little plastic pig. Uh, but pig. Right. Oh, it's real windy. Real windy. An awful lot of plastic. Plastic, plastic, plastic. Unbelievable amount of plastic down here. Unbelievable. Oh, look, let these nail varnish. Take that, chuck it in the bin. It's in this big plastic, I'll put it up on the bank. It doesn't get swept back out with the tide. Yeah, all this has been uh, eroded away slowly. It's all coming down. There'll be loads of history in there, all that. Oh, what's that? Oh, a dead bunny rabbit. Ugh. Yeah, another good big plastic container. Right, let's keep going around the corner. There you go, a bit of a uh, steelwork here. Look. It's pressed to this, it was quite modern. I mean, uh, flower pot or something. Oh, there we go, look at that. This made me chuckle. 
maybe think of that um, TV program with detectorists. Could have been a Viking or Roman spear, maybe. Could have been. Then you look up, and there's the fence in there. <laughs> Funny. Maybe Chuck had it. There you go. Another golf ball. There you go. Oh, that's three now, lad. Three. There's not a lot of bed. It's an old pier, this. I'm going to go around the corner of it now. There you go, here's the old pier subbrook. You see where they finished the pier there with the brickwork and then they carried extended it a bit more there. All this water running out of here. That's coming from the Seven Tunnel, the railway tunnel, which was built back in uh, 1890 odd. It goes uh, from South Wales to England. Uh, the boats are some more up here, the ships. Take you over the English side. What's that? Some sort of gizmo in it. Oh, God knows. Water pump off something, I expect. Yeah, and also that jetty over there must be a shipbuilding yard over there. Let's build the ships. See all that sticky Madeira <laughs> staying out of that. The porcelain. And there's not a lot of old stuff close to shore because with the waves beating against the rocks, it smashes it up. Uh, the further you go out in the channel, the black rock leave that fish on go. We find some interesting things out there. You see how much this silt has built up over the years. There you go. What's that? The pottery here. Yeah, it was probably a lot deeper years ago. Did you see that there? There's all the silt, the mud, stone. It's washed around. So probably at the bottom, we've probably lost 15 foot, I bet. Maybe 20 foot. Of silt and mud and stone, all got washed around over the years. And there was uh, all the stuff that had been dropped many, many years ago off the boat and off the pier. Pretty much buried, I suspect. Oh, you don't want to fall in there, that's running quite quick. And in the summer, you get the mullets swim up here. When the kite comes in, it's, it's just covered with uh, seawater. And the mullets swim up into the fresh water. That's fresh spring water getting pumped out the seven tunnel. How many gallons per hour? God knows. Thousands, probably. Go in the distance over there, it's, uh, Black Rock. There's the old Seven Bridge, built in the 60s. Yeah, good under the water there, Jim. Ooh, slippery. I want to see weed. No nice sandy beaches down where I live. There's a tidal estuary. You just get mud and mud and uh, mud. There we go. That's the colour of the water. Chocolate brown. And all the mud. Ah. But we do get some good fishing here. We do get some good fishing. There we go, on top of the pier, looking down where we just walked. 
Anyway. Okay, head back. Well, here we go. Here's our Trinity Church, yeah? That's far as you can see much of this. It's all covered in brambles and ivy and briars and all. But they've actually been in there, cut it all down. And you can actually see it now. But it's still fenced off, so you can't get in there because it's a bit, a bit dodgy. Look at that stone just balancing on the top there. Get you above the fence, you know, tidy up. Yeah. Probably the font there, right? Aye. This is, um, goes back to about the 12th century, I think. 12th, 13th century. But it's been like this for a couple of hundred years. Just a ruin. There used to be a big old manor house just over here. There's the old doorway there. That would have been the door. There's the old uh, pot down there. That. Yeah. Well, the churchyard was here, apparently. And uh, well, this extended out a lot further back then. And it's gone. All gone. I've actually cleaned all this up. That's what I was doing. There's all brambles there, no? Bushes and trees. That's the uh, pumping station for the Seven Tunnel. I worked in there back in the 90s. Went down in the shaft. Right. It's getting windy now.